Oh hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am doing this super pink, light, fun, sparkly look with the Paradise Enchanted palette from L'Oreal and a few other goodies. So if you want to see how I did this look, please make sure to stay tuned. Today I am trying out again the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. Um, this says it has a natural finish, which was kind of a weird finish last time. It was almost powder, like it dried down to a powder finish, and I remember it being a buildable to medium coverage, so we're going to try it again today. So I did wash my brushes yesterday, and I mean, I washed them, yeah, it's very... I, I wouldn't even say it's medium. I would say this is a light fit or a light coverage for sure. I know Casey Holmes used it and loved it, um, but I'm just, I just need a little bit more than what this gives me. So, mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is going to be one I use very often or if I'll use it like a, maybe more like a BB cream than a foundation. So this is half of my face. This half has got the coverage on it and this does not. Like, it covers up okay. I can still see my redness through here a bit. And it's like clinging to the texture on my skin oddly. Like, when I smile, it looks really weird. Like, you can see all these pores in here and I've never seen that before. Ooh. And also, I just barely, barely touched my face and it came off. So... I'm not sure. I just don't think that on this second try, this is a foundation for me. Like, I barely touched my skin and it all completely came off. So I'm actually not going to go with this foundation. I can tell it's not going to work and it's going to be terrible with um, a concealer. So I'm going to take this off and start again. Let's start again. This time I will be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This one I absolutely loved the first time I tried it. Um, so I'm expecting it to be great again this time. The thing I do really like, like look at the coverage about this foundation is it's very liquidy and a lot of people don't like that. I like that it's liquidy because you can, you know, move it around and buff it a lot when you first apply it so you don't need to use as much I don't know maybe that's just me but I really like the consistency of it so speaking of foundations I think I want to do like kind of a foundation showdown of everything I've tried lately because I feel like I've tried so many foundations and some were really good and some were really not um, so if you guys want to see like a foundation showdown, let me know. I'm going to put a little bubble up here, um, with just a vote for yes or no. I spent some time washing all of my brushes yesterday, which is actual like torture because let me show you, I have all of these that needed washing yesterday and it took forever and my back started hurting and I was like, God, I am getting old. Whose back hurts when they're washing makeup brushes? Mine. Mine is who. But here's the story about that is where's the fuzz? Oh, I can feel it, you little bubble. Um, so I used to use like a liquid brush cleanser. Um, I can't remember which one it was. You know, but one that's like everyone thought was so great. It costs like 30 bucks. It's supposed to be so good for your brushes. Um, and then... I was running, I ran out of it. So I grabbed a bar soap that I made and it was a soap that was supposed to be a shampoo bar that just did not work for my hair. Concealer today, I will be using the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade Ivory. So I um, washed all my brushes with this soap that I made and oh my God, it cleaned them so well. And I don't know if you guys have ever like noticed when you clean your brushes, sometimes brush cleaner can leave like a little film on them or they don't feel good or they're not soft. These are clean, like as clean as they were when I first bought them and they are so soft and they don't have an odor and I'm just like, what? <laughs> so I'm gonna be using that bar soap to clean my brushes from now on because it's gonna last for a thousand years. Um, 
bar soap is naturally antibacterial so it's going to keep them really nice and clean and it's so much cheaper and then I was like am I the only one who's ever thought of this well it turns out beauty blender also has a bar soap that they make for cleaning their blenders and brushes and it cleaned my beauty blenders like amazing um and it's like 16 dollars let me tell you as somebody who makes soap a bar of soap should never cost you $16. That is just totally having a corner on the market. That's crazy. Like $10 max and that's still a little bit expensive. So um, yeah, I guess beauty blenders like these suckers don't know how much soap costs to make because it's not that much. And I looked at their ingredients. It's not expensive oil that they use either. For eyes today, I found this palette from L'Oreal. It is called the Paradise Enchanted Palette. Um, it's a scented eyeshadow palette, which mm, I don't know, but I think they're, you know, going with that Too Faced thing where they like to make their stuff smell like chocolate or peaches or whatever. So let's see how it smells. I mean, it's scented, but it's not good. Um, you can tell it's supposed to be like a fruit scent, but it smells a Bit like pee diapers. If you're a mom, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And having said that, let's see how the colors actually go. I just really liked the layout. I thought the shades were really pretty and kind of like pink and peachy and fun. Okay, I'm gonna start with this little kind of medium brown shade over here and just go all, ooh, ooh, it's really soft. Okay, so I'll hold it this way. Next I'm going to grab this pink shade here because it's really pretty. Um, these shadows are very soft, um, not the most blendable, but you can tell they're very like pigmented so you can work the blend a little bit, um, but yeah, they're very, very soft. Like yeah, that's a color payoff for sure. I, okay, here's what it looks like and here's how it goes on. I, they're, um, they're, yeah, good. And I'm going to keep that same brush and use this really light ballet slipper pink shade up here and just finish blending the blend. So far, this is a pretty good palette like I would say so the little pan sizes are very teeny tiny but you really don't need much they do take a little bit of work to blend but once they do they blend and you know blend together really nicely um and also I found this that I thought looked like so much fun that I bought a while ago and haven't used it it is the Revlon photo ready eye art lid plus line plus lash so it's got a shimmer on one end and a super sparkly one on the other and they just kind of go together. So I'm going to use this and the shimmery end to kind of um, color in the crease here. Okay, those are dry and they dry down and who boy, they do not move. So I'm going to grab this darker shade right here and this kind of smaller fluffy brush and um, fill in a little bit on the edges. I'm going to use the same brush and the same shadow and just pull it under my eyes to define a little bit. This is the part I hate. It always tickles. I want to do something fun with the glittery end of this one, but I'm not sure if I want to just do inner corner. Yeah, I think we'll stick with just a little inner corner fun with this. It does have a really nice little pointed brush, so maybe we'll try this as a liner sometime. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with it. Inner corner is definitely not the right application for this. Um, the sparkles are very pretty, but it like, the brush is too little to make it look good. It just, no, but we'll leave it as it is. And I'm just gonna line my eyes and I'm going to use the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen and the Essence Lash Princess Mascara um, and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Ta-da, I'm back. Okay, so um, I tried this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is a $5 mascara. It's awesome. I'm never using another mascara again. I mean, okay, I probably will use another mascara ever again, but this one is super good for five bucks. I definitely recommend picking this one up. And there's another one that is just like this, but it curls. I'm gonna try that one next time. Now let's warm up my face. I am going to grab the Ticket to Brazil Color Icon Bronzer from Wet n Wild. Last time I tried this, I didn't really see it on my face. So we're gonna try again with a little bit more of a um, smaller brush and see if maybe that works a little bit better. I don't know. But, um, so, yeah, that works better. So I do have to make a bit of a corrections corner. Um, this might not be so bad. I need to try it again. I remembered that right before I started getting ready, um, I had like super moisturized my face and that meant that I used a beauty oil that I don't think has sunk in all the way. So it's making this foundation also lift up a little bit. So my bad. Um, I will definitely try this one again with a, you know, not oily face. But it didn't feel oily, like my face felt fine. Um, but I can already tell like the same things kind of happening here with uh, this other foundation. So sorry, Revlon, I will give you a totally another, another try. This bronzer is quite red. Am I using a blush brush? No, because I just washed them. Maybe? No. I don't know. Now I'm going to use something I've never talked about on this channel, but I actually really, really love. It is this totally abused um, illuminating palette from Wet n Wild. I like it because it's got all of these in the middle, and I like to blend these two together. It makes a really pretty, like, glowy, light blush. So I'm going to do that today. And for lips, I'm going to use this liner from Wet n Wild. It is the Gel Lip Liner in Bear to Comet. And I'm going to try this new lip gloss that came in my Allure Beauty box. Um, I remember it feeling very sticky when I swatched it on my hand. So we'll see how it goes over some liner. Actually, not sticky. Um, very shiny and very pretty. And I think it's perfect with this look. Yay! All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a really fun time doing this look and playing with some sparkles. I love pink, love it. Um, so if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel and I will love you forever. All right, have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.